Hello! Welcome to Neural Fit and the Phoenix Waveform. In this short video, we will go over some of the strong points of the operation of the Phoenix Waveform so you can get using your device right away. Remember, the purchase or rental of a Phoenix Waveform includes coaching and training. So if you do not find what you need in this course, or if you need a custom protocol made for your specific situation, please reach out to Dr. Jeff Bond is directly, and he will do whatever is needed so you can get the most out of your Phoenix waveform. You can use your Phoenix waveform right out of the box, but to fully charge the batteries, please leave the unit charging overnight. If you happen to lose battery charge, no problem. Just plug it into the wall and you will be ready to go. To get to the Phoenix programs, use the P positive up button and the P negative down buttons to scroll through the program list. When you see Phoenix in the program list, press and hold the OK button to get into the Phoenix programs. Now that you are in the Phoenix programs, again use the P up and down buttons to scroll through the Phoenix program list, and again use the OK button to enter into the program. Press the OK button again to get to the start, and press OK again to start the program. You will then use the arrow up and down buttons below the cable lead inputs to increase or decrease the stimulation intensity. But before you do that, you need to attach the cable leads. The Phoenix program uses channels 1 and 3 with channel 1 being the far left channel. The color leads are used for the Phoenix programs. The gray leads are only used for the microcurrent program, which also uses channels 1 and 3. If you get an electrode error code, you are probably using the wrong leads. So, Phoenix and microcurrent uses channels 1 and 3. Phoenix programs use the color leads, and the microcurrent uses the gray leads. When plugging the leads into the unit, make sure the globus writing on the lead is facing you. Do not force the leads into the pin. A few quick strong points. It is not necessary or recommended to try and go as high as you can with the intensity. When doing the hunt protocol, make sure the sponges are wet. In this course, there are pictures of where to place the pads and specific treatment protocols. The default time is 12 minutes. However, if you want to increase the time, press and hold the small F in button and the time will light up. Now you can use the P up button to adjust the time. The OK button will also pause the unit if needed. Before turn the stimulation on, make sure the electrode are attached to the body. When removing the electrodes, always make sure the unit is turned off before removing the electrodes. Due to the extreme power of the Phoenix, you need to use good electrodes. There is a PDF in here that has accessories for your Phoenix, like wires, sponges, splices and electrodes, we recommend Valutro electrodes that you can get from Amazon or online at Script Hesco. Whenever possible, attach the grounding attachment to the patient when receiving treatment. Apply as close to the injury as possible and also follow the sleep suggestions. There are a few contraindication to electric muscle stimulation. This are. It should not be used to treat symptomatic local pain unless the cause of the pain has been clearly diagnosed. Electrotherapy should not be used in areas of the body where cancerous lesions exist. The treatment should not be applied in areas of the skin that are swollen, infected, or inflamed, e.g. varicose veins. Patients suspected of having serious infectious diseases or diseases that require heat or fevers to be suppressed should not be treated with electrotherapy. Electrotherapy current should not be applied to the anterior neck, carotid sinus, or through the head. Women who are pregnant should avoid electrotherapy treatment, as safe use has not been established for pregnancy. Patients with cardiac demand pacemakers should not be treated using powered muscle stimulators. If you have any of the contraindications, please contact us or your healthcare provider before using electrical muscle stimulation. There are many ways to use the Phoenix waveform for pain relief, rehab, injury therapy, mobility, strength training, and muscle activation, just to name a few but that should get you started. Remember, training is included. So you may find it helpful to schedule a call with Dr. Jeff Bonas, so you can explain your specific situation and goals, and then Dr. Jeff can advise you on where to go and do after that. Thank you.